Hi, I'm Sergeant Acker. I'm a respiratory therapist here at Walter Reed, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Aerogen Aeroneb system. There are several components here. The first component would be the T piece that will be connecting to your ventilator, your medication container or your cup, or which we like to call our acorn for obvious reasons, will actually connect into your T piece, your control box power cord and control wire and I'm using this uh, syringe as simulation for medication. So the first thing you're going to do once you get the order and you for a uh, neb for a patient on the ventilator is you would actually grab your system. Once you get into the room you're going to set up the control box with the power cord Make sure that the power cord is on. Green light will, will actually show that there is current going to the system. Your control wire. And this can be placed anywhere. Sometimes they'll have a clip, sometimes they won't, but they can be placed anywhere here on the uh, nebulizer to where you have access to the start button. And to place the Aerogen system onto the nebulizer, We'll go actually for this, this side from the inhalation port to the uh, humidifier. We're going to go to the dry side. Take your T-piece, large end goes here. Hose goes there, corrugated tube goes there, and then your acorn facing upwards. And that's your basic installation. Now you're gonna take your control cord and there's a little plug here. Place it in there. You got your aerogen, you got your aerogen system set up for delivering nebulizer to a ventilated patient. Now to make sure that this is actually working, take your medication, flip up this little plastic cap here, deliver medication. Close the cap. And then for purposes of demonstration, um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this acorn here. And then you press the blue button for about three seconds. And it starts delivering your nebulizer treatment. And then this will run, run roughly about anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes or possibly even sooner depending on how much medication's in there. And it just gets delivered to the patient while they're breathing in and out and on the ventilator. This thing is set for 15 minutes, 30 minutes. So after the 30 minute time limit, it automatically shuts itself off. Or after pressing it for about two, three seconds, you can shut it off manually. Now there are some things that, uh, some things may happen like the medication is not being delivered. So if you notice that the aerogen is not working, there's a couple of troubleshooting things that, that you could do to make sure that um, everything's going well. So first off, make sure it's plugged in because there are some times that people unplug the Aerogen not knowing what it is or need that power, power slot for something. Uh, make sure that green light is on. That means it's connected. Make sure these connections here are secure. Once you do that, you turn it back on. If the medication isn't working, just slightly tap the acorn or just like, you know, tap it with something. And sometimes it just kind of dislodges because what is in here is a little mesh that vibrates very fast. So if you put the medication in too fast, it creates an air bubble. So tapping it kind of releases that air bubble. So when the mesh vibrates, it can start nebulizing the medication. And that would be like troubleshooting. And if all else fails, then you'd most likely have to replace it. So once you replace it, you just remove the acorn, put the plastic plug over here, and go get a new one. Unplug it, go get a new one, and then repeat the steps. And that is all there is really to know about how to do the Aerogen Aeroneb system to delivering nebulized medication to a patient on a ventilator.